So almost ready to get underway. Our starting pitcher in this one, Zach Wheeler. Well, he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix. So for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Here's a 2 1. Cut on and missed 96 of that fastball. 2021 was Wheeler's year. An all star, as we mentioned, but he also led the National League in innings, in strikeouts, and as well in war. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Two and one now. And a foul ball. Two-two now. Ripped to third and picked on a hop. Zips it across, and Albies is retired. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Swing and a miss, and that is strike two. Kicks and fires. That one, 95 to finish him off. And the Braves go down quietly. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Philadelphia, getting the nod in this one, Spencer Strider. Yeah, Boog, when you're a teammate of a guy like this, you love when it's his turn to pitch. He's out there on the mound carrying himself with a ton of confidence. That gives other guys confidence that, hey, the other team's not going to score much. All we've got to do is have good at bats, put up some runs, and we should be able to get a win. He's got some of the best stuff around the league. So if he's on, he has the ability to control the game, and guys aren't really going to get much to hit. Left-hand hitter waits. Checks his swing. Appeal down to third. Ring him up, says Daryl Parker. That's a strikeout. Trey Turner now. Center field. Harris has a beat on it. And he makes the catch. Two down. And time now for the Phillies lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. It's out of here! He made him pay for that one, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. bad was very patient, and it paid off. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. On the ground to the left, and that's just foul. The pitch. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Bryce Harper brings the power for Philly. It's now a 1-0 ball game. 
you're dialed into the show. Second inning set to go. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Got him. And there's one down. Here's Marcelo Zuna. One down, base is empty. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Everything came together for him. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Michael Harris. Oh, and he hit him. Boo, you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. So here's Murphy now. And that one is lifted in the air. Marsh moves under it. Calls it in, two away. Here's Jared Kelnick. And a 1 1. On the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Two left for Atlanta, and it remains 1 0. Bottom of the second. Now, Alec Bohm. The 2 1. And that one in the air, center field. Pulls it in after a long run. And there's one down. That exists. That exists. The second base. This is Bryson Stott. And one and two. Strider. He's a guy that has both swing and miss stuff and exceptional command. I mean, that's a rare combination. That makes him one of the best in the game. Next offering oh. is downstairs. And if you're a hitter, you know that he's going to challenge you, right? Yeah, you expect that. And that's why I think you go up there, you get three strikes, you take your hacks. And this is from a guy who liked to swing it. You swing the bat. The 2 2. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Next pitch is outside. So many strikeout guys do have trouble with walks because usually the strikeout is tied in to the stuff, and sometimes the stuff is difficult to command. Not the case here. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Harris makes the grab. And there's two away. That accepted. And now it is JT Real Muto, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And that's downstairs and outside. And a pitch. That misses. And now three and one. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. And the right-hander's 3-1. Chop to third. Riley fires to first. And Real Muto is out. And that is that. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. But they hold a 1-0 lead. And welcome back. Here's Orlando Arcia. He swings and fouls one off.
the wind of the pitch. Smoked on the ground a second. Tosses to first and one away in the top of the third. The right field, number 13, Ronald Acuna. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Kicks and deals. There's a strike. One and two now on Acuna. Ripped to right, base hit. Around first, digging for two. Round second, digging for third. Oh, the throw is over his head. He'll make it up to third, and I'm sure that'll be an error of the outfielder. Not a bad slider by any means. It was down and away, but an even better job to spoil that thing. And he let it travel, didn't try to hook it. Man, that's a really good approach. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Grounded out his first time up. 1-1 one, one now. That one missed. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Acuna stands at third with one gone in the inning. The next offering misses. Counts full three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Three balls, two strikes the count. Got him! Two gone now. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. Here's Austin Riley. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That one ripped, and that's a fair ball. And now it gets into the corner. In to score is the runner from third. It's 1-1. One, one. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now Matt Olson up to hit. Went down on strikes his first time through. That just misses. Three balls and a strike. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. That one is absolutely belted. Gone! Matt Olson goes deep. And just like that, they're out front. It's 3-1. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. And now it's going to be Marcelo Zuna. Swings and misses. One and two. And down on strikes he goes. That's the third out. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show.
as we go to the last of the third. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate, and that's in for a strike. And now it's even up. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. On the ground, right side. Albies. Throw to first is in time. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. And digging in for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. That hits the dirt, and the count is even 2 and 2. Rojas leads off first with one away. And the pitch. Breaking ball, and that got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. I, I say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. Here's Turner now. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. The 2-1. That clips the corner. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Next one misses. And the count is filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Ripped on a line. Harris makes the catch. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. Now, here is Harper. He's already homered in this game. Hammered down the right field line, base hit. Now it rolls down into the corner. In comes the run from third. And now they trail by one. And that's a two-out double. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. Bryce Harper with the run scoring double for the Phils. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, and stepping in is the speedy Michael Harris. Strike two. You know, these Braves showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. The next pitch misses, 
And it's two and one. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Turner makes the grab, two down. Jerry Kelnick next up for the Braves. He's 0 for 1. This is important. If he can go 1, 2, 3 here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Right hander kicks deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Yeah, the batter now, Orlando Arcia. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Pitch misses there. Two and two. Kelnick leads off first with two down to the inning. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left on. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Braves three and the Phillies two. Back here in Philadelphia, and now it's Alec Bohm. That one off the mark. Now two balls and a strike. Had a strike in there. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. So he leaves the yard to left, and we're level. It's 3 3. a majestic blast off the bat and even though he hit it pretty well it was anything but a sure thing to get out but today the conditions were right he got just enough of it and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. Bryson Stock stands in for the Phillies. They say it went. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. Here's a one two. Line drive, base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Swung on, belted. That's back. It's out of here. He powers one out to right field, and that gives him a lead. It's 5-3. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. scary for a pitcher when a guy can take a fastball down the middle and hit it to the opposite field. No holes in a swing like that. And that time, that ball was hit hard. 
Brandon Marsh stands in for the Phillies. Grounded out his first time. That one misses. Two balls and a strike. Line drive, base hit. Four hits in a row, the and they're really swinging it here. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. On the ground. Rudder at first with no outs here. Line drive, caught! Dives for the bag, got him! Double play! So the Philly batting order turns over. So here's the Phillies DH. Kyle Schwarber, he's 0 for 1. Now remember, Kyle Schwarber grew up in Ohio, and so he got a chance to watch a lot of really good Cincinnati Reds teams. His favorite players growing up were Barry Larkin and Ken Griffey Jr. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. And now two and two. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Love how he the let that ball travel, seven. trusted Short his hands. Off. Nice job of going the other way. Trey Turner with a chance now. 2-1 now. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. I think that was a slider there, but he just didn't stay on top and release it out far. Kind of popped out of his hand and just never did anything. Here's Bryce Harper. Harper checks his swing. Appeal to third. He did not go around. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. He flexes his power with that swing. His second home run of the game. And they add on. It's 8-3. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. He put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Spencer Strider is done, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Now on the bump, Ronaldo Lopez. He's into the game with the bases empty. Ronaldo Lopez. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty to the plate. Oh. Oh. And that one missing low. Three ball. Two strike. On the ground to third. Fair ball. 
Around first and hustling for second. To second, pulls him off the bag. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. He's already homered here in this one. At the belt and fires. And another ball. That misses the zone. And now three balls and a strike. Rice and stop. Waiting for a turn at the plate. Okay. Check swing. He went. Now three and two. And a pitch. Swings through it for the K. Had him out front for strike three. So a great inning there as they bat around to score six times to open up the lead. We played four. It's the Phillies eight and the Braves three. All set for the start of the inning. And now Ronald Acuna Jr. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. This one smacked out to left center. Base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. And he'll pull into second safely. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Man at second. That one fouled off two and two. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Here comes a pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The 2-2. Two -two. Two. Tried to check his swing there, appealed a third, and he held up just enough. That's ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. And here is Austin Riley. Next offering is fouled back. He's a good high school football player, Austin Riley, but you look at the build, you think quarterback, think maybe even linebacker. No, he's a punter. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Two on with one out. Here's Matt Olson. One for two. And the righty deals. Two balls, two strikes. Acuna, the lead runner out at second. Albies over at first with one away. pitch and a swing and a miss that's his second strikeout so first and second with two outs Marcelo Zuna now at the plate and it is two and one
back to the mound. They get the force. That's out number three. Two left for Atlanta. Can't chip away at an 8-3 deficit. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now for the Phillies, Bryson Stott. There's a strike. Well, these Phillies, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. Swings and sends a rocket to right. And Acuna able to make the grab. And there's one away. It was all now over right. that yeah. fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. JT Real Muto steps in. Next offering is fouled back. There's a swing and a drive. It's out of here. He circles the bases. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 9-3. count you've got to be ready to hit at the plate even if it's a borderline pitch you don't want to leave it in the umpire's hands got to be ready to pull the trigger he had a great swing on that and he got rewarded for it base is empty one away Brandon Marsh stands in for the Phillies in the air to left down the line Kelnick hauls it in and there's two away it's a good recovery though after giving up the home run not allowing it to stay in the head but going to work at the next hitter and a tough one at that two outs base is empty so digging in now for Philadelphia Johan Rojas righty delivers Pitch is in there. That's strike two. Stays alive. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 9-3. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, number 54. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Michael Harris. The 1-1. One -one. And he flips a breaking ball in there. One ball. Or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. And a 1-2. And there's a ball. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. And, Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Puts it away for the out. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Jared Kelman digs in now. And here it comes. That misses the zone. Three balls and a strike. And he deals. 
Swings through that. I think he was sitting off speed there. Right-handed reliever. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Two down. Nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Down in order go the Braves. Still way back. It's 9-3. Back here in Philadelphia. Well, we go bottom six. Here's a big power threat. Kyle Schwarber. Chris, when you think of Kyle Schwarber, how about the impact in the playoffs? He hit some iconic home runs. The one on top of the Wrigley Field scoreboard in the division series against the Cardinals in 2015. And then in 2022, 488 feet off you Darvish. It set a Petco Park record for distance. And a pitch. Well, he's got what we call light tower power. And even when you have a guy like Bryce Harper on your team and you wow him with the home run, that says a whole lot. That to right. Acuna there. And out number one on the grab. The batter number seven. Here's Trey Turner. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. That's down and in. Next pitch has popped up. Olsen on the move. He's got it. And there's two down. The first baseman, number three. Harper. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter now, Bryce Harper. There's a 1-1. One -one. Good eye right there. On the ground, Albies gets it to first, and that will end the inning. Three up, three down that time. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Phillies nine and the Braves three. And welcome back. Top of inning number seven. Now in for the Braves, Orlando Arcia. The pitch. That oh. misses the zone, and that's ball two. In the air, right field. Castellanos gets under it. Makes the grab one away. Up next for Atlanta. The right field. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And the right hander deals. Way out front for strike two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Comes a 2 2. The punch out there, down on strikes, and he knew it. Two outs, bases empty. Ozzie Albies, the next to hit. 
The pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Well, this is the type of hitter you want up in this situation. Some sluggers coming up behind him. He's so good at moving runners, but also getting on base. See if he can be patient here. The pitch. Three balls, two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Nick Castellanos. Good plate Thank appearance you, there. Able to take the walk. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. And here is Alec Bohm, the one two. Goes down looking. Man, he had the stanky leg on that one right there. That curveball just locked him up. And at first, and digging in for Philadelphia, Bryson Stock, one for three. Not even close there. And it's two and one. Left hand hitter waits. Outside corner, there's a strike. And the 2 2. Swing and a ball popped up. Olsen settles under it. Makes the catch for the out. Now, now batting. Catcher. catcher. JT. And here's the catcher, JT Real Muto. Ball to strike. Two and one. in there at the knees for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Nothing across. No hits. No errors. And one man left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Phillies nine and the Braves three. Back at Citizens Bank Park, here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. Next one just misses. It's two and two. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He sends it out of here and they cut into the deficit. It's 9 4. Pitcher tried to intimidate with that fastball up and in, but he was ready for it. Pulled the trigger, and man, explosive through the zone right there. Gregory Soto comes on now. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Here is Matt Olson. That's off the mark. And now three balls and a strike. That clips the corner.
That one's on its way. No question about it. And that one will go. His second home run of the game. And they close the gap. It's 9-5. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Now here is Marcelo Zuna. So now one and two. You know, these Braves, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed, it's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Next to hit, Michael Harris. Next offering is down low. Two and two. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. The wind and the pitch. Three and two. On a line, base hit. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that A-B. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. One gone runner at first. Sean Murphy next up for the Braves. In the air left field. And there are two outs. Now back left field. Jared Kellner. Jared Kellner next up for the Braves. A strikeout and a walk. Move over to first, trying to keep him close. The 1-1. One -one. And downstairs. Two balls, one strike. The 2-1. And that one fouled off. Two two down. Caught him looking for the K. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 9 5. Back after this on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Dylan Lee. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And now for the Phillies, Brandon March. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Got him looking for the K. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. Next pitch is outside, and that's ball three. Kicks and fires. 
fouls one away and now three and two. And now the lefty fights it off. You'll see another. The kick, the 3 2. Lifted in the air, right center field. And Acuna able to make the grab. Two away now. Now, the designated hitter. So the lineup flips over, and now Kyle Schwarber. And the pitch. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Down quickly, go to Phillies as they can't add to their 9-5 lead. Chris Sir Anthony Dominguez has checked into the game. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. And now two and one. At the belt and fires. And he pumps it a strike. Popped up. Real Muto moving under this one. One down. Here's Acuna now. Right-hander kicks, deals, and there's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. And now, Ozzie Albies. Falling behind two and one. And a pitch. And that's a little high. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally. And this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. The 3 1. And oh. ball four to a board. Oh, you know, this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. New pitcher now, Jose Alvarado. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball. And we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. And now Austin Riley. In an absolute tape measure. The throw to second, to first, not in time. Great effort there. The Braves down to their last out. Matt Olson up to the plate. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. The 1 1 is upstairs, and it's 2 and 1. Two outs. Hammered down the right side, but foul. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Towards first. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Well, the fourth inning proved to be the real turning point. They looked locked in at the plate after that first time through the order where it just seemed that they were off balance a little bit. But once they started really recognizing the pitches, everything started to play. Our final score here, 